Okay, so you wanted to know how it works. Here's the logic. That's a pump, nothing more. It sends and pressurizes the water, then goes into the Toyota radiator. The radiator then pushes it back, and it comes out the radiator through this uh, bend and down into this induct inductive heater. It's uh, basically a hot tub heater. Then there's gonna be a 220 contactor that will put four kilowatts worth of energy into here, thus creating a big loop. It's a tiny little water loop. When the water meets temperature, an automation circuit will turn off the heater to prevent overheating. And then there's gonna be a shitload of safety circuits just to prevent water, like water detection and uh, te over temp and basically 40 million switches that turn this sucker off. I won't be anywhere near it when I fire up the 220 on it. But uh, then that's just a standard fan, but I'm gonna have a higher uh, CFM fan that'll blow through the radiator and in theory, this should heat my entire garage relatively efficiently. Well, comment. Tell me if I'm stupid. Tell me if this is a dumb idea. Tell me if I'm going to die. All those wonderful things that YouTube is full of. And if you like these videos, like it and subscribe it. If you don't, then fuck off.